Isn't it wonderful when things work just the way they're supposed to? We are officially into fall and it's cold. Hi, I'm Ron Price. So glad to be back with you on this film series that Greg Allen with Safe Communities and I have been doing. We've wrapped up the five germs and I invite you to go back to the website for Safe Communities. Greg will put it on there for you so you can see where it is. Talked about escalation, negative interpretation, invalidation, avoidance, withdrawal, and no fun. Well, you might notice in the fourth germ, avoidance, withdrawal, I mentioned that one, to the, one of the keys to counter that is to call a timeout. And I want to come back to that for a few moments today because calling a timeout can be an antidote to all of those germs. Maybe not the no fun, but if you know how to call a timeout appropriately, you won't escalate, you won't negatively interpret, you won't invalidate, you won't avoid and withdraw. So I mentioned the first time, and I'm going to say it again because it's so important, if you call a timeout, you call the time in, you can say to a coworker, a boss, a, a direct report, a family member, a friend for that matter, I can't talk to you right now. But if they're important to you, you can't say to them, I will never talk to you about whatever the issue is you have with me. So if you call the timeout, call the time in. You can use the sports timeout signal. That's a signal that says, hey, this is not a safe time to talk. Let me tell you why that's so important. You have a part of your brain that thinks right here in the front called the frontal lobe, prefrontal cortex. It's the seat of logic and reason and rationale and thought. It's a good place to be. You also have an emotional part of your brain called the deep limbic system or the amygdalas, the seat of emotions. If you're happy, you're sad, you're frustrated, you're excited. It's a different part of your brain that's in operation. Again, a good place to be at times. But if you're upset, what can happen is you can leave the frontal lobe of your brain, the thinking, rational part of your brain, get right smack dab in that emotional brain. And when that happens, folks, all bets are off. You're liable to say something you don't want to say or do something you want to do. So call time out. You can use words. Bill and Pam Farrell, who wrote Men Are Like Waffles, Women Are Like Spaghetti, will use words. They'll say, hold on, it's not you, it's not me, it's just life. Let's not take it out on each other. Or hold on, it's not you, it's not me, we're just both really tired and stressed. Let's not do this right now. Folks, something that indicates this is not a safe time for us to talk. It'll damage the relationship. It's not going to take us anyplace positive anyway, so call a timeout. But if you call the timeout, please be sure to call the time in. Announce to the person, not right now, but let's get together right after lunch, at lunch perhaps, just before we leave for work, leave work at the end of the day, whenever typically within 24 hours. And you're gonna talk using the speaker-listener technique, which I got a hunch we're gonna be covering next week. So I hope you can join us then.